We're noted for a selection of great new cars, but did you know we have the largest selection of used cars in all of Southern Utah? Our service centers are filled with people that are highly trained to meet your needs and find something for everyone's budget and lifestyle. You've got it made at Stephen Wade. Raindrops did not dampen the spirits of those who gathered at the Tonaquint Cemetery to honor those fallen veterans laid to rest here. We shall not forget you. We shall remember. As we stand here today, 534 veterans are buried here in this Tonaquint Cemetery. God bless America. If we didn't do this, it would be so easy to forget what has been done for us and for our freedoms and for those who sacrificed and gave so much. Sponsored by the Civil Air Patrol Composite Squadron, each branch of the military was honored with the ceremonial laying of the wreath. It's an opportunity to have our youth and everybody in this country remember, honor, and we get a chance to teach about the services that our veterans have provided to this country. As members of the Patriot Guard Riders put away the flags, Patriot Civil Air Patrol cadets, volunteers, friends and family members decorated the graves of the beloved who gave so much. They gave their lives for us. Some of them may have been drafted or anything like that, but you know, without them, we wouldn't have our freedom. Ruby Trott was here in honor of her husband. And I wouldn't not be here. By early afternoon, skies cleared long enough for the sun to shine on those honoring Native American veterans buried in the Shivwit Cemetery. Members of the Paiute tribe were joined by Daughters of the American Revolution who brought the wreaths to the sacred burial grounds recognizing veterans of the Paiute Indian tribe. This wreath is a remembrance for thanking you ladies for bringing them up, having some sort of memories for past deceased veterans. A red-tailed hawk flew high overhead as a sign of recognition to the native spirit. A moment of silence followed by native prayer honored the 20 soldiers laid to rest here. A monument depicting the names of Shivwitz no more is the only reminder of the tribe's sacrifice to America. They were there fighting and they, they gave their lives for the country as they say. But, you know, that to me it, it, it's a good thing because when, when you recognize them at least we're part of the community. Come rain or shine, veterans honored on this day will not be forgotten. Melissa Anderson, KCSG, St. George News.